Right guys, what we have here is a Renault Scenic um, and what's happened is the window made an incredible bang you can see there it's not right so I managed to get the the customer says it made an incredible bang and then it just wasn't going up and down right uh, they managed to get it into a position the customer brought it in here and I said right we'll try and get that a little bit better just to try and keep the water out if it rains it's been incredibly warm in Scotland lately so thankfully we've not had too much rain uh, I did have one customer come in rather sweaty and he says, oh, it's to rain on Friday. <laughs> so I think he was really pleased that it was going to rain on Friday. It didn't rain on Friday. Uh, but, so anyway, it's quite expensive for the, the window regulator from Renault. You can get a cheaper one uh, from Valio, uh, which Valio, to be honest with you, it might be okay, but I'm just not a fan of aftermarket regulators, to be honest with you, in my experience. They can be a right pain in the ass. Uh, because you end up having to mess about with them, trying to get them to fit right, cables on the right, and stuff like that, it can just be a pain. So, I always try my very best to just replace with a genuine one, so we'll get this off and see what's going on. Right, so we've got all the bolts out bar one, they decided that that one, for whatever reason, they were going to play a little trick on the mechanics and made that one bigger. There is a little plastic cap you need to remove from there, we'll just put it next to that little bump. <laughs> so. We know where that is, um, so we'll get a bigger top now. It's probably going to be the one we had to start with. Yes. So, for whatever reason, they made that one bigger. So we'll get the trim tools out, get this through, we'll get that door carved off. Hey guys, so it's popped out of that little bit of plastic up there. Hard to see in there. So you can see that bit there where it's meant to go in, and there's the ball end there. So I'm not sure why it's come out and what it's meant to hold it in place, but... Have a wee look and see. Some of the push claps broke on the door as well, so even with the, the trim tool, the plastic one, just that's uh, so what happens to them. That one's come off. Yeah, so, I'm not sure why it had popped off. It looks like there's a wee bend in it there. I'll maybe see if I can straighten that. But I've managed to pop that back on. Now, the customer says this came off with a bang <laughs> and it. it I'd imagine it would have been because that was quite some force to get that back in there. Uh, so I'll see if I can straighten this wee bit because I can see there's a wee bend in it there. So I'll see if I can straighten that and see how I've greased all of this and I've greased the one underneath there as well. So I'll see what happens if it works. Uh, what it does, it's maybe got tight and it's just popped it, uh, you know, because it's tight somewhere. But what's happened there as well, actually. Ah, right, okay, dog, I see what's happened now. Right, so there's what's happened in there. So if you can see in there, that seal's all that window runner. What's that window's running on is all defect, so that's probably why that's happened. So I'll see if we can fix that. Right, guys, you can see we've got that out, so you can see the seals are ski with. So it's probably went down, and then when it's went to come back up, oh, it's got really tight there, and popped that off. So we'll see if we can straighten this out and see what's happened to it. It's maybe just got tight, it's incredibly hot just now in Scotland, so you know, see, that's all the grease that I've been spraying in. Uh, windows, it's kind of silicon grease we would use, so I'll just run something through that and make sure it's nothing untoward with it. And then bolt it back in, so you can see there's a bolt, two bolts in there on that side, two bolts on this side, and I'm assuming that's a crash sensor, and that had a wee push clip on there as well, so we'll need to put that back in uh, for that bit of wire, and there is a bit of wire in there for that crash sensor, so just so that doesn't get caught in the window. So we'll straighten all this out, clean it all up, and see if we can put it back and see what happens. Right, so we've greased, oh well, silicon spray, silicon spray all the, the channels, obviously we know that seal, uh, that window kind of rubber seal channel, call it a guide, right, it's guiding the window to keep it straight. That's get caught by the looks of it, and as the windows came back up, it's obviously jammed there, and it's popped that, uh, that's like a shoulder joint, uh, to be honest with you, you can imagine how your shoulder would joint would be, so it goes in and it should be in kind of one-time fit. It has went back in, it was quite tight, so I'm hoping we can just get it all working again. So, we shall see what it does. Turn off the radio. That's it right down. Oh, 
one potato, two potato, three potato, four potato, five potato. One potato, two potato, three potato, four potato, five potato. That should be the soft touch in auto. Stop and start, we done. It's a wee bit juddery, so we'll maybe clean the glass. ESP lights on. Show sure why that's on, service required. Right, we'll scan it and see what's going on now. Uh, but the window seems to be working again, so... Yeah, I'm going to just clean all the glass and grease it all, see what the customer wants to do. Anyway guys, if you haven't already, we'll check and see what this ESC light was all about. I don't know if it's because of that crash sensor's now been unplugged with the... Maybe the ignition was on, I'm not sure. Has to be a crash sensor, I don't see it being anything else. Uh, that uh, two wire sensor, it has to be a crash sensor for when you get into the door so I'll put the machine on it and just make sure that's all it is and if it's anything else then we'll report to the customer but it seems to be that work that's working again so thanks for, excuse me, thanks for watching if you haven't already hit the big thumb, give the video a like if you have liked this video and if you have please subscribe, it's free for you guys just let the YouTube know you like to see uh, how a window regulator works on a Renault Scenic so have a great day guys eh Hey guys, we'd left that overnight. Um, obviously we've given it a good old grease. You can see there's actually a load of grease down the door. That was me just greasing it. So down there there's that channel. You can see that looks nice and straight still, so I have given that a load of lib. Um we did have one wire off down there. So I'm not sure what it's for, it's like a wee crash sensor or something maybe. I'm not sure, so we need to put the machine on it and just see why that. Hopefully it's all related to that, but I think we'll stick all this back now. Uh, and put the door curve back on it. Uh, you can see it's one of these lovely ones that just clips in. See it? So you make sure that's right. You make sure it's open in there before you, you know, close the door. Make sure it's opening from inside and outside. A uh, couple of little push clips built on it as well. It's stuck in the door, even though we've got the, the tools. We need to try and get in. Squash these bits, you know, but it's hard the door card done because like, obviously you're trying to find them as well, so to get in. So you use the plastic as well, don't scratch all the all the frame. You can see where it's got screws as well, screws in it, holding it. So <coughs> put the door card back on, put the lamp back on, we'll put this channel back on as well, Le Chanel, and hopefully. No more dramas with the door. Anyway, thanks for watching. I haven't already had a big pump. And that subscribe. Have yourselves a great old day. Hey, so we've got a big hotel plugged in. Hopefully that service required is just us having that unplugged. I'm not sure if I had the ignition on. Uh, so that's where your EOBD plug is. You need to take that big rubber trim off there on the centre console. Um, the hotel had already, I was asking is it a Dacia, a Renault, or that kind of stuff. So it's already pulled all the data. We'll hit the auto scan, see what happens. Right, I've seen these uh, before on Reynolds. Uh, multiplex signals, I'm not sure if that's something to do with injection, I can't remember. Uh, instrument panel, motor connection, end of clutch switch travel, short circuit tear, stop light circuit, open circuit, memory, 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 parking brake, memory, memory, memory. Left hand dipped headlamp, right hand dipped headlamp, oh memory. Battery voltage low, radio. So nothing that I can see then for that. I think like I'll save all of these things. I don't think this has been anything to do with us. Ah, your bag. I would. I mean, it's probably because I've got it plugged in, but I right, will save all that for the guy. On a lacy neck, so there you go, guys. We'll, we'll clear these codes and we'll save it actually. We'll clear it first and see what happens. Hold on, uh, it doesn't want to erase that one. So, ah, uh, that's what I want. I want the ignition on only. Let's see if we'll erase it then. 
Yeah, it's raised at that time. It's only because it was running. See, <laughs> oh, that's, that's not a start button. Yeah, so. Alright, so let me just do a service. So. I could help you. Nothing I can do about that. It's probably just your service to be honest with you. 103,000 miles, I don't remember the last time I've seen this vehicle. Yeah, I'll just say, yeah. Uh... Right, so it's past that time. Right, well, there you go, it seems to be past all those ones. It's probably just needing a service, so I just need to see. You know, if this vehicle ever comes back, what of those codes were in there. There's a lot of bulbs to be honest with you, so it could just be a case of changing some bulbs for some of those ones. That multiplex one, I'm sure that's uh, an injection fault. Um, but don't quote me on that, don't panic, don't panic, vehicle's running okay. Uh, so we'll just have the customer keep an eye on it. Thanks for watching guys, hit that big thumb, hit that subscribe button down there man, have yourselves a great old day okay.